Hi, I'm Tada of Madatsukaerude. Madatsukaerude is Japanese meaning you can still use it. So let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today, I'm gonna repair toaster ovens. So this is the toaster oven. So if I, for example, do the toast, and this actually, the oven uses the IR lamp on the top part and the conventional uh, resistive heat on the bottom. And if you finish, the bottom part doesn't really glow. So the, yeah, I'll take apart and check the heater, uh, the conductance, and see uh, whether I can get the parts or not. Okay, first I found screws on the back panel. Open this guy. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna take the front panel. Then it looks like the, all the electric is here. So I took the front door and no, still something is in so it looks like I have to take this panel Now I got the electric circuit board. This is AC in. So this is the heater. Interesting. I think I'm gonna take the side panel also. Taking everything on the car. Okay. Taking some rubber cap kind of thing, and then I can access to the legs. Oh, there's a screw here. Interesting. Okay, the 
So this guy has interesting the uh, two heaters of the resistor and the one is the lamp IR and I think the two of the heaters were not really the burning I think I'm gonna check the resistance but the I'm gonna do that individually This guy. Thirty four ohms, so this guy is fine. How about this guy? What on? Twenty nine ohms. So both heaters are fine. That means heater is not the cause. So that means it's either the fuse or what else controller that's not really good if it's a heater it's easy just replace the heater but the heater is fine interesting lump okay so the This yellow one goes to heater. This is a ground. Some couple. Okay, I'm gonna. So this is a circuit board. So the AC hot gonna go in here. AC, uh, the neutral or the yeah neutral is, is here. This is common. This is the heater. This is a lamp. This is some couple M. So I'm gonna try to remove this. Huh. Okay, so the this this one just looks like you need to pull it out so it's you pull out like this and disconnect it so capacitor looks fine oh this is the huge Okay, let's check this fuse. Okay, fuse is fine. Hmm. So it looks like the heaters are fine. So I'm gonna put back the these shells so that they're gonna be easier to work with
Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna connect this guy and this guy. Sparkle. Okay, I set up like this, and uh, now the AC plug is on, and voltmeter is set for the AC volt. And if I measure neutral and hot, it shows 120 volts. And if I push switch on and toast, and if I measure the heater voltage, it gives the power. So that means the electric circuit itself is working fine. And again, it's it's probably the heater problem. And hot heater, I mean the top heater is hot. And the bottom heater is not hot. So that I think the bottom heater, again, it's, it's burned out, I think. So it's start over, I'm gonna take apart and inspect the bottom heater. Okay, I'm gonna take it apart again. So I think it's what I did was wrong in because this the heater or connected parallel and bottom heater. Yep, it's over range. I they didn't isolate the top one and the bottom one. But if I isolate the bottom one only, it's over range, so the bottom heater is dead. So it's simpler, much simpler than the electric circuit. So I, all I have to do is replace this heater element. Here we go. It's continuous though. I don't know why it's... Ooh. Okay. It's not really good. It's uh, like... It should be like a nice spring, but the... This part is, is really like bent. Very really bad construction. I'm... This is really embarrassing. It's, it's Panasonic. It, Panasonic used to be a good company for the high reliability, but the oh, made in China. It's, it's made in China. That's bad for Panasonic. They started the manufacturing in China. That's why this guy breaks in in a few years. It's very really bad.